From the studios of Highland High School, this is Ram TV. Wake up, Highland. It's Ram TV time. Stay tuned for today's top story. When one play ends, another starts as dra dramas play and the cabaret begins. Keep slipping, man. I'm not into gymnastics, but I'm into flipping things. I tell these women that it's all about a team, Jordan and Pippin, man. So do you want to join the team? Now tell me, little Miss Thang. When I saw her walking down the street, she looked so fine, I just had to speak. I asked her name, but she turned away as she walked. All that I could say was... Good morning, Highland. I'm Madison Parkin. And I'm Charlie Malone. Please join us in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to, to the, the flag of the United States, States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Wake up, Highland. I'm Bristol. I'm Savannah Hirsch. I'm Caleb. And I'm Jeremy. And today is the 25th of October. Let's go to Ram TV Spencer MacArthur about FCCLA. We're here with Miss Jenkins for an announcement for FCCLA. Hey, FCCLA members, come on into my room, C29, today for our FCCLA meeting during lunchtime. Grab your lunch and come on in for dessert. We'll be planning our girls' choice co ed dance in November. Thanks. Hey, hon, high school. It's me again, Mr. Sanford. And one of the things the Gamers Club is going to be doing is every other week we're going to host a Gamers Club game night. Our open game night will kick off this Friday. It'll be in my room after school until 7 p.m. Uh, bring yourself, bring a friend, even bring a game if you're willing to teach it. Uh, otherwise, if you show up, there'll be plenty of games, and you don't have to worry about knowing how to play them. Anybody who uh, is there would probably be willing to teach you a game they know. So just show up and have a great time for as long as you can. Hope to see you there. Shredder's Club is meeting Wednesday in Mr. Sullivan's room, B74. Be there. Experience ISU on October 28th and get free applications. This free. event is all day, but it is not an excused absence. If you do choose to attend, register at isu.ed slash visit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> November 1st is fill out your FAFSA night. Come to the media center between 6.30 and 8.30 and fill out your FAFSA for federal financial aid. Ian's is announcing their annual essay contest. Winners of this contest will receive a school scholarship of $1,500. For more information, talk to your counselor. Ian's is announcing their annual essay contest. Winners of this contest will receive a scholarship of $1,500. For more information, talk to your counselor. The Trevere's Cabaret opening night is tomorrow. First night will cost $5, and Wednesday through Friday will cost $10. Come and enjoy a spooktacular musical show from Highland's very own Trevere's. You should totally go to that. Just saying. The Trevere's are hosting a Halloween dance. It is on the 29th, and it costs $7. You should go. Attention seniors and juniors, you will be meeting in the auditorium this Thursday, the October 27th. Seniors will meet at 9, 9.55 and juniors will meet at 10.40. Representatives from the Multicultural Affairs Office at U of I will be at Highland today from 10.30 to 11.30 p.m. They have asked specifically to meet with Native Americans slash Natitos slash Hispanic seniors about scholarship opportunities and resources for them. Here's what's happening in our world of Ram sports. Hey guys, we are here with Coach Ackley. How do you feel going into the playoffs? Oh, I feel really good. I think we are on our process of peaking. We've come together really well as a team and uh, just playing really well as a team right now. The players are performing great right now. Um, we have some, both sides of the ball, we have some real studs. So uh, the, the key is that they all perform together well. So. 
We have a lot of talent on this team, um, a lot of size, um, strength, all of that, and we play very, very physical when, when we're in the middle. Uh, how do you like coaching the players? I love coaching the players. Um, you know, for my position group, D-line, I have a lot of really good athletes and, and big, strong guys. And, and it's nice when, when the players come out and, and trust in what you're teaching them and go out and perform it. So I absolutely love working with this group of guys. What w would be your biggest accomplishment this year? Winning state and having to go through the three teams that beat us at the beginning of the season to do it. That would be a great accomplishment. Hey guys, we are here with Gino, and I'm just gonna ask you a few questions. Um, how do you feel going into the playoffs? Pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let me explain a little bit to you. Uh, I think the uh, uh, kids have turned it around quite a bit. We uh, did a great job all the way through uh, our conference play, and uh, we're we're starting to uh, peak at the right time, hopefully, and uh, uh, we'll see what we can do in the playoffs. How do you feel the players are performing right now? Uh, you know, they're, they're, they're executing, and that's the biggest thing for us to move on and do some uh, good things in the playoffs. So uh, as long as we continue to execute, play uh, smart football, uh, play aggressive football, I, I think we have a nice chance. Uh, do you feel your team is a championship-level team? Absolutely. You know, it, it's one you have to believe in yourselves, and uh, that's something we talk about every day about. Uh, making sure that they've set goals and um, we have a, a super opportunity here because we're going to be in the dome uh, as long as we win so uh, that gives us a, a pretty nice advantage. Uh, how do you like coach coaching the players? Love it. It's what I uh, uh, enjoy the most and uh, watching them improve and uh, you know they, they're, they're part of a family, a brotherhood and uh, we enjoy uh, being together. Okay, what would be your biggest accomplishment this year? Well, if we can get to uh, the state championship and win that, it'd be uh, you know one of our goals that we set at the beginning of the year. And uh, but again, I you know I think these kids have accomplished a lot uh, thus far. We have got another district championship. Uh, we'll come back from an 0-3 start, which is the first time we've done that in, uh, since '69, I guess. And so you know we've we've done a lot of nice things, but it's not done. We, we we're ready for the playoffs and we're ready to go win a state championship. For all the seniors, your pictures are due on October 31st, so make sure to turn them in to Ms. Greco. Hey seniors, it's time to tune in and listen up because here's some valuable information for y'all. Okay, seniors, time to get your senior pictures in. I know most of you have been procrastinating because I have, but... Miss Greco, down in room C44, needs your senior pictures for the yearbook, and the yearbook will be will not be accepting any late pictures. Hi, we're here at Miss Greco's room, and I want to let you know how you can turn your senior pictures in. To turn your senior pictures into Miss Greco, you can either email her at yearbook at gmail.com or you can give it to her on a thumb drive in her room C44. Well, you know, I, get your senior pictures in, guys. Get back here with my chair. Now here's the random thought of the day. Now for your random thought of the day. I'm Paige. Did you know that bubble wrap was originally intended to be used as wallpaper? I'm Alyssa, and if you want to lose weight, banging your head against a wall for an hour, you will burn 150 calories. Hi, I'm Lexi, and did you know that every time you blush, your stomach line, lining blushes too? What? Bye! Bye, Bye Highland! Want an announcement on RamTV? Email us at highlandramtv at gmail.com before second hour so we can fit your announcement in. Like Ram TV, follow us on Instagram and Twitter at Highland Ram TV for unlimited Ram TV fun. Thanks for tuning in to Ram TV. I'm Jeremy. I'm Caleb. I'm Bristol. And I'm Savannah. Bye. Woo! Bye, you guys. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time.